Lysosomes are recycling centers that break down sugars, fats, and proteins using enzymes called hydrolases. When one of these enzymes is not working, unrecycled waste builds up in the lysosome, causing disease. These lysosomal storage diseases, or LSDs, can be classified based on the type of waste that builds up. For example, glycogen is broken down into glucose by the enzyme acid maltase. This enzyme is missing in Pompeii disease, which is caused by the buildup of glycogen in the lysosome. Deficiency of acid lipase, which breaks down fats, and cathepsin D, which breaks down proteins, can also lead to a lysosomal storage disease. Some lysosomal hydrolases break down more complex molecules that are linked to special sugars. For example, glycosaminoglycans are long chains of sugars linked to other sugars. Sphingolipids have sugars linked to fats, and glycoproteins have sugars linked to proteins. The buildup of glycosaminoglycans causes mucopolysaccharidosis, while the buildup of sphingolipids causes the sphingolipidoses, which include Neiman Pick A and B, as well as Gaucher, Fabre, and Crabbe. The inability to remove sialic acid, also known as neuraminic acid, from glycoproteins causes sialidosis. Sometimes the problem is that waste can't be transported out of the lysosome. For example, the inability of free sialic acid, a sugar, to leave the lysosome through the sialin transporter causes Sala disease. The Neiman Pick C proteins help cholesterol exit the lysosome, and the cystinosin transporter helps cystine, an amino acid derivative, leave the lysosome. This causes the disease cystinosis when deficient.